Tony, welcome. We appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. Well, it is absolutely my pleasure. I'm going to start off and ask, in your opinion, why is lending an important service to add to the Hedera ecosystem? I really think it's one of the elementary money Legos that we need in the DeFi space. It offers so many opportunities and new dimensions, and it, it's a fundamental. Really, you know, we're looking forward to see stuff that will be built on top. We see that in other ecosystems, and, you know, it's really nice to see the DeFi spring happening. So I'm very confident that these elements, you know, also with, with, with Zero and Bonzo, will, will bring added value to the system for others to build on. So the whole point of DeFi is to get access to some of the exciting tokens that are out there. From what I understand, you do have a fungible token. What is it called and how is it used on your platform? Yes, so um, we have a fungible token and uh, there is also another token. So there's two tokens. The fungible token is H liquidity and basically it slurps up the people who stake that token uh, are uh, gain the rewards or that are generated by the protocol. That's, that's the, the role of H liquidity. And uh, in the lending protocol, what you can do is you can mint Swiss francs. Anyone can, not just you, Brandon, anyone can. So that's uh, that's the good thing. Uh, basically, we built this decentralized machine where where people can mint their own Swiss franc, you know, uh, uh, stabilized with, with uh, two oracles uh, on, on Hedera, with, with Pith and Super oracles, um, that, that make sure that the price is always is correct uh, and connected to DeFi platforms and a lot of different pools. All right. So the next question I have is is a pretty simple one. From the perspective of both a lender and a borrower, how do you go through the process of using age liquidity? So this is the same person. Uh, age liquidity, really, uh, you bring age bar and you receive Swiss franc. And basically, the, the age bar is parked in a so-called trove. And it's on the side for you. And you can use the Swiss franc that you mint to do whatever you want. You can put it in other DeFi protocols. You can use it to pay, you know, bills. There's already a company, a gaming company in Switzerland that uses, accepts the Swiss franc as payment. Uh, you, can, you can use it to put it in the protocol to gain more um, fungible tokens. So the Swiss franc that you mint is really, can be used in many different ways. But basically the lender and the borrower is the same person. And there is a whole ecosystem of things to make sure it's always over collateralized it's always 110% 110% over collateralized and of course you know another simple use case is you buy swiss franc with that you buy more h bar you put the in and you get more swiss franc so you can basically do uh, 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 go long on h bar which is risky of course but you can you know on the front end that has been built by someone from the community uh, block there you can see exactly your risk, risk exposure and if it's below 110%, somebody else can close your trove and the people from uh, that are staking uh, and then the har- and have age liquidity tokens will be rewarded. So going back to the Swiss franc, are there going to be other tokens that you can borrow or are you going to stick with the Swiss franc? So the, what we build is immutable. Uh, you know, we built it. It's out there. We we are currently in discussions in terms of strategy. You know, what are our next steps? And of course, of course, we have a lot of different ideas. You know, adopt other currencies. There's legal stuff that we discussed. Uh, adopt other mechanisms. Uh, have more collaterals. Uh, we also think of what we built is not new. That has been built on uh, Ethereum before. It's been rock solid for many years, uh, hasn't been exploited, has been very successful in terms of volume and rewards. So, so we think it will have the same in the Hedera ecosystem. And there, for example, other community members build chicken bonds on top. That's also something that we look at, you know, how can we incentivize community members to build chicken bonds? I think currently this is the process. We have two days where we, you know, go sit together, also find out, you know, what does the team want? Also, you know, what, where can we see opportunities? So when, whoever listens to this and has ideas, we're very open to to next step and we will announce them in August. So you mentioned that you've done this already on Ethereum. How did that progress? How did the roadmap progress and where do you stand on that network now? Yeah, so so it, it wasn't me doing there. It was someone else. Robert Lauka was the, the guy who, who, who was behind it. He's also Swiss. We know him. He supported us when we migrated to Edera. And, uh, they took, I think, three or four years to have a version two. 
So they're currently, you know, discussing their version two and trying to implement it. I don't know the roadmap exactly. I think it will be live towards the end of the year. So this, of course, is also something that we observed very carefully, you know, their version two, you know, once they're live and we see, you know, it's rock solid, it's, it's very, you know, the next path and, and easy to adopt. And it's good to have their the support also. I think uh, in terms of regulatory environment, we're also very on the, on the, on the good side in, in Switzerland. We have very clear laws. We know exactly what we're allowed to do. And that's very helpful. So you already mentioned how you could use the lending platform to go even more long HBAR. Are there other ways that, that you see your platform being used um, by most of the people that are out there? I, I think it depends on, on really on what user you are. Personally, my vision is, and you know, one of the reasons why I push this is, I see forex will be on chain at one point, even if it's ten percent. And and you know, the Swiss franc is represented five to six percent in traditional foreign exchange, and foreign exchange is the biggest market. It's I think seventeen trillions per day. So. Even if there's some margin, some two or three percent of that on chain, you know, imagine the volume. And that's also why we decided to go on Hedera because, you know, clearly if you want these volumes, <laughs> we need an infrastructure that, that can take the load. And, you know, we have internal discussions. When will that happen? How many percentage of Forex will happen on chain at one point? So if you think these people, we don't know when they come, but they will bring the traction that, that are really promising. Then other you know, customer base that I personally would love to see is companies that do their treasure management or organizations where they say, you know, we've talked to organizations, they say, oh, wow, you, you can do it 24-7, you know, oh, wow, it's instant, you know, atomic soap stuff that, that for, for blockchain people is, or DLT people is, is completely normal. They were like, oh, this is amazing, this is a leap, but, and this is a big but, organizations, particularly the bigger, the, the more, are very slow in adoption. You know, they have to jump into annual hoops. There is risk analysis. And of course, also, you know, there's sometimes politics, you know, decision maker, you know, if he takes a risky decision, it impacts his career. And, and so sometimes you discover organizations that rather do nothing than take an opportunity because if they don't have pain, they, they, they will not change. So, so our strategy is not to address the industry leader, but the, 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 the challenger because they are opportunity driven. So I think, you know, treasury management is a big thing. And also if you're just sitting on your age bar and, and, you know, you understand the mechanism of people having an emotional thing about Swiss currency and the belief that it is super strong and low inflation. We have a community, from what I understand, in Southern America that, that clearly, you know, says US dollar, yes, but also Swiss franc, yes, yes. So th that's the other thing. And you don't need necessarily need to do open a trove and, and do all that stuff. You can just swap it on, on Saucer Swap or, or Heli Swap or wherever you want to go. So, of course, we have some other lending protocols that are coming to the space. We have Bonzo Finance. We have Serio. From what you're telling me, it seems like you're more focused on the traditional side of things, even though it can be used in DeFi. You're trying to make that move into Forex in general, a huge market. Is that what you would say is the biggest difference between H Liquidity and some of these other platforms that you are focused on those traditional spaces? I'm not sure. I think also in terms of, of you know, how the stuff works, ours is, 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 you know, very simple minded. You know, it's, it, you bring something, you get something and it's not a two sided market. I think that's one thing. And it's very dumb. You know, it's no AI involved. So, so I think that that's, that's also, you know, I, I love the idea of, of, of AI in, in a lending protocol, but quite honestly, I don't, you know, maybe I'm not smart enough, but it's like, ah, I want to see it working because I learn when I, when I play around and when I work. And, and, and so I, I think that's, I'm, I'm very curious to see what, what will happen there with, with Syria. I played around a lot with Bonzo. I love it, what they're building. Uh, and, and I talked to the Syria guys, great stuff, you know, but I want to, I want to play around to understand better. So I think, but it's also amazing because I know the protocol. I think ours is a bit, you know, simpler. You bring H money, get Swiss franc, that's it. Of course, there's a lot of ways how you can, you know, profit from the H liquidity token and staking and all that. But the protocol is simple. You bring H money, get Swiss franc, that's it. And, and, <laughs> and I think that that's the biggest difference. Uh, and then in terms of target group, you know, that's our vision, but it's not our product. You know, we built the code. It's out there in the wild. And, you know, we can't force you to use it. So, and, and we will not also, because it's not our product. We gave this away to the community. And if you, Brandon, say, you know, you want to make, instead of a Swiss franc, I don't know, some, some, some currency of some country, you can do it. The code is there. It's all, it's all belongs to the community. That's fantastic. So before we let you go, Tony, is there anything else you'd like to pass on? 
Yeah, sure. So, so, so personally, I think, um, you know, with Hedera, we really do have an infrastructure that is great and, and, uh, you know, that, that is enterprise great. And, you know, whenever you get the chance to, to, to talk to decision makers and, you know, make them curious, you know, don't force them to use it, but just make them curious. I think that's, and tell them the, you know, the opportunities and also tell them, you know, there's other companies that already use it, you know, they accept this as payments, you know, and, and everything is, is clear, you know, we know the tax things, everything is settled, you know, don't, don't worry. And I was even talking to an innovation company and I said, you know, I want to pay you with this. And they said, well, we don't have a wallet. And I said, guys, you have email, you have website, you have social media. Now it's the third wave of digitalization. It's the, the digitalization of values. You need to to adopt and play around, even if you just accept a little thing, make people curious, you know, have them play around, test them, tell them that, you know, you can map all the governance stuff that you have traditionally in a company with multi-sig, you know, and all that. So I think we really need to to also, you know, on a, on a personal level, make people curious. I think that's that's where adoption starts. I think that's a great message to lead on. Congratulations on getting to this point. We're really looking forward to what you're building. Thanks for building on Hedera and good luck. Thank you so much for having us and uh, all the best. I'm now posting these interviews of Hedera builders independently to my channel. The community, influencers, and media outlets are free to use this content to spread the word on what's being built on Hedera. Once they're all uploaded, you'll be able to go to my channel and search for whatever topic or team you're interested in to find more information. Or you'll be able to get the most recent Hedera news by watching the latest HBAR Weekly update. So check them out.